all right what is going on everybody my name is zach aguilar i am the english voice actor of the male traveler aka the legend the avatar the man the myth the legend ether and today i am joined by nazi tarsha the voice of al haytham yo 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 what is up everyone glad to be on hey what's up guys sorry i'm a Sorry, I'm a few minutes late, more than a few minutes, but uh, you know, we're just we're hanging out, having a having a good time. Uh without you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for being here. And Nazi, thank you, man. Thank you for coming on the stream. Um I I'm, yeah, I'm no, so excited to have me. you. Oh yeah, yeah totally. Glad to be <laughs> I know the community's been so stoked since you announced uh your role in Genshin. I, I just gotta ask you, like, what what was it okay so i guess here let's uh so what was it like i guess when you you get the you get the audition for genshin right um do, are, was it because i'm always curious about this i don't know for sure because i sometimes they change it and other times they don't um it, did it come through as genshin like was it like this is genshin impact like for sure 100 percent. no no of course not um oh wow <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Every, everyone still keeps things, you know, coded in some capacity. Um, but you know, uh, when it came through, it's it's one of those things where you know, not every time do they provide a uh, concept art of some sort. Uh, but when they do, you you take a look and you're like, oh, that just that just looks like Genshin. Uh, surely this is you know, and and also when you know the studio that it comes from, and you like kind of like you know connect the dots, put two and two together. So it's like, okay, this is this is Genshin. So yeah. Uh, but you know, it was one of those cases where uh, you look. I looked at the um preliminary sides, and you know, uh, I forget which characters were on there, but it was only like, I think three guys, uh, and then the rest uh were female roles. Oh, but awesome. of course, you know, it was it was one of those things where, you know, I see I remember Sino was one of them. I think uh, Tainari was another. Um, but then I see it all hate them. And I'm like, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> I want that one. That's the one that I want to play. Love so, that. Um, uh, I disregarded one of them because of the specs. I just I was just like, that's eh, I don't like the way my voice sounds on this. And then um. I sat there for a little bit. I was like, what do I do with this voice? And, you know, eventually came up with something, sent the audition. And then uh, sometime later, got the call back, which I was just like, oh, OK, there's a chance. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, then I was in the middle of recording on a show. Uh, I think it's like greatest demon lord gets reincarnated as typical, you know, and, and oh, it's yeah. a long the whole paragraph. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was recording on that and in the middle of them cutting a take, uh, I get an email from my agent just saying with all caps booked. And I was like, oh, a booking. Nice. So I click on it. And then all of a sudden I was like, hey, you booked the character. And I had to like verify with them <laughs> like, hey, yeah. this, this is actually like that character that I had the callback for that this one. I'm like, yeah. And, you know that's it was, it was it was like just cloud nine right then and there dude that is it's so funny that you say that because every single time i i get a booking like that where i i've auditioned for something and then it comes through and i'm like wait like that that's the same project that's a thing that i just thought does that mean that i right. did, did i get in the you know the agents are so like oh yeah yeah it's on monday like yeah, <laughs> no, it's yeah, not it's, it's like, not oh, like great. you made some money for us like, congratulations <laughs> it's not like a dude like oh my <laughs> god like you are the main like holy crap like they're they're like dude you just got booked on like a 10 year show like this is like this thing's gonna run for a decade you're the main character it's like yeah it starts recording on tuesday like <laughs> it's, it's, hey what are your availabilities yeah it's uh, just like <laughs> another uh it's like yeah so when are you free are you free these days okay like they really just put it in the schedule and you know yeah. nonchalant what whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like I, I remember i actually like i ended up having to send my agents an email uh sometime relatively like it was like a few weeks ago uh but i was just like hey you know i'm not sure you guys are aware but that character that i booked in genshin is kind of a big deal um it's, and like it's kind of important like, 
like I, I was just kind of like telling them like, hey, here is where my follower count started. Here is where it is now. Do with this information what you will, <laughs> you know, like yeah. kind of like trying to give them the updates of like, hey, like this was this is a lot bigger than you, uh, you know, probably realized it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think my I think my agents can tell when I uh, when I really, really, really want to do a role because all of a sudden. Like my availability is, you know, whatever they want. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. because for me, I don't know about you. For me, I am not a I'm not a morning person um, at all. So what I try to do is I'm always like, okay, yeah, they want to record. Let's make it uh, afternoon, evening, please. Afternoon, evening, afternoon, evening. And I try to avoid the mornings as much as possible. Um, And you know what? What would sometimes irk me? because I, I just lived kind of a ways away from Burbank back when I was like recording everything in the studio um, back before, you know, the whole remote recording thing uh, is when I was working on a show with another actor and they would always they would always have me basically basically they would have me come in and record like at 9 a.m. Driving in like rush hour, the worst traffic ever. And then the other actor would come in in the afternoon just and he lived probably like 15 minutes away from the studio. And I'm just like, why? Because he was too lazy to wake up like, you know, just like 30 minutes before his (laughs) session or something like, come on. Why am I the one that's recording super early versus everybody like why are they taking those time slots away from me like i need those um i i i, I do similar um <laughs> yeah. i wear it's like so what i will do is you know depending on how busy i am in the week i may like i'll make myself look a little more busier uh than i actually am even if i have nothing going on it's just like like oh yeah you know uh, I'm recording 9 to 10 30 a.m. That's unavailable. Like 11 a.m. is like the earliest if they really, you know, like, yeah, and, like and then they like, you know, so like I'll give like a Monday schedule. It's just like, oh, yeah, uh, open between, I don't know, 11 to three and then five to six. Like pretend that there's a session in there uh, <laughs> sometimes just to like make myself look like a more valuable commodity. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Like, you know, it's like. Oh, he actually works. This isn't just, we, you know, this isn't just a, we can call him whenever and he'll just come in whenever. I like, again, it's all like a mental gymnastics of some sorts in my own mind where I'm like, oh, maybe they'll also uh, respect that, uh, you know, if they want me, I'm not just going to be able to like bend over backwards all the time. Like they got to work with me just a little, you know, don't just give me the 9 a.m. slots all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel you. I, <laughs> <laughs> um no seriously i uh i feel bad recently for some some people some projects coming back and um other things because i got a lot of random things happening right now uh you know like oh yeah are you available this day i'm like no this day no <laughs> like can we squeeze it in this day uh no not really like i'm just i'm truly i'm truly trying to find more time for myself and this this um this next week, I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to Disneyland with Sarah and Erica, uh, the voice nice. the voice actors for Lumine and Venti, and so we're all taking a we're all taking a little uh, Disney day together, and everyone and their mother like I booked out that day specifically like and, and I don't do fun things. For myself like i i never do it like all i do is work all week and then i'll maybe i'll go to a convention on the weekend and just rinse and repeat like i never do like fun things and so this is the one thing i'm like i'm gonna do this nobody's taking this away from me and i had like some projects come through and they're like oh and i'm looking at my schedule and there's there's actually no time to record anything else on the other days during that week and i'm just like you know, I'm going to have to tell them I just can't do it. Like, I'm just like, I'm going to let it go. Like, I hate doing that. But like, I need this day. I need to go to Disneyland. Like, I can't. (laughs) I have to. that's, That's the curse of this industry, right? Like, once you hit a certain level of success, um, and even if you don't, like, it just, it just, the way it works out is anytime you want to schedule time for yourself, uh, take a self-care day of some sort, go on vacation, haven't seen your family in a year and a half, whatever it may be, that's all of a sudden when the universe decides, 
we want to book you. <laughs> they um, give you the they give you the next a... huge role. They're like, yeah, can, so you can can you do it? Oh man! And then like the <laughs> mental agony that you go over sometimes, where it's just like. Uh, maybe I can delay my flight or hey mom dad I um look I know I said I'd be there Friday but maybe Saturday sorry you know it's like yeah but like you said you got to just take the stand sometimes because this industry can become overly demanding with your time and like unless you force that time off unless you force it uh you know yourself to have a little bit of fun um a vacation day it's like you're just let's you're just gonna be working all the time like you said you work during the week conventions during the weekends rinse and repeat like there is no zach time otherwise yeah. you know yeah no seriously and then, and then your stream also like <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i know and that's the thing for the streams like uh it, it's funny because uh like i guess you could view this as like it, it is technically like a work related thing but I actually, just because, you know, coming from my background, I love video games and I love anime. Like I grew up playing games. Like I love doing these. I love doing these streams and kind of interacting with the community. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. It might actually be like one of those memes where they're like, oh yes, it brings me so much serotonin, but I just feel better when I do the streams. I, I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like all you guys in the chat, people just being like so cool and nice and supportive and I don't know. Just like, just I, if I feel like I can talk to people, or I don't. Does that right. make? Does I mean, this make I mean, any sense? <laughs> I mean, I, I think it makes sense. You know, you've, it, it, it's. I think it's a reflection of your community. It's. It's like you said. They're. They're very pleasant. Uh, there is a, a a level of camaraderie and interaction that makes it an enjoyable thing, um, and that's that's really the thing, right? It's just like the more enjoyable a thing is to do the less like work it feels or you yeah know, the more it's it's it, it doesn't it's, feel yeah. like it doesn't feel like a work thing it's it's like a it's like a fun thing but i think it's it's just a lot of people have asked me like why am i pulling so late on some of the banners and truly guys like it is because i just like my time is so crazy right now i'm doing all of these things like i'm going to a convention and then i'm and then i'm flying back to la for like a movie premiere like i mean it's it's just so <laughs> it's so wild i'm just trying to like and i'm so blessed by the way like i'm not it's not like a complaining Thing at all but it's just trying to like really find that time for myself because if you don't find that time then you kind of like i think that burnout really starts to set in and you're like what am i what am i doing why am i always right. i always have to be i always have to present myself you know i always have to be like on and i sometimes i just kind of want to turn off my brain and i mean on on the days that i do have off i don't know if this is like a like telling or a bad thing but i legitimately like I will, I will like, I will be in my bed and I will not turn on any lights in the room and I'll just like sit in the dark for the majority of the day. Um, and I don't know why, but like that just makes me feel so comfortable. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in the dark. Like nobody's bothering me. You know, I'm not going to check my phone. Like, yeah, right. I'm, I'm sorry, friends, because I'm not I mean, responding. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it touches on something though, right? Like it, it, it regardless of how enjoyable a field this may be how privileged we are to where we can call this our uh jobs whether it be you know the acting or the the the, the fan interaction etc cetera, etc cetera, there is still the element of this being a job also you know yeah. that doesn't go away and you know there are some days where most days it's 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 fun it's great it's it's the 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 thing that we long for most but you know there are absolutely those days where it is a slog it work feels like work you know i've i've had uh i've had those things where i've talked to friends who are more green uh uh just being like yeah i'm just burnt out i just i didn't even do like any of these auditions this week you know it's like just telling them like i disregarded things and then all of a sudden uh they're like oh i would never do that and it's like well because you don't know what the burnout feels like it, there is there is it gets a to point a point that you get where yeah. it's just like yeah you need you need to just 
take care of yourself because um. i remember i remember that exact you know mentality too it's just it's just so different like you truly sometimes you just truly have to experience things to fully understand what the what the other person is getting but i knew people that were when i was first starting out in this industry that were more experienced than me and they would complain a lot like about you know yeah i'm so tired like uh yeah i'm working on this show i just you know, but I'm tired. I don't really want to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to this convention. I mean, you know, it'll be fun. But like, ah, like I kind of wish that I wasn't. And I, and I was just like and I was always like in my head just thinking like, shut up. Like, you are so lucky. Like, you are the like, I want your life. Like, I want that life. But now, like once you kind of get to that point and you've worked a lot and you've worked with a lot of people and you're just, you know, this becomes this this becomes less of a hobby i think and more of like oh my gosh like i'm actually doing this for a living then you're like oh right like that this is real this is kind of like a lot and there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of work there's always things going on there's like auditions to do there's always there's auditions to do there's emails to send there's like places to right. fly you're <laughs> you have to i mean and then i don't know and then sometimes there's even like networking you have to do i've gone out to dinner with like producers and stuff and it's you know sometimes that takes the rest of my night away and then i go to bed wake up um anyways it's so it's it's a weird it's a <laughs> right, weird industry right, you you right. all you know you know how it all goes um but uh anyways like to kind of i guess i'll kind of to kind of like steer it back um dude how did you get started doing voiceover just like uh, at the very at the very start i mean you could take me all the way back like what first inspired you did you play a game did you watch a show did you like what how did this how did this kind of come about right so um essentially so growing up i was never a thespian i never did any sort of like creative thing uh i was just strictly maths and sciences with a particular uh focus and interest uh on mathematics and then when i got to university that's when i started uh taking a couple of electives for the sake of filling out like degree requirements and i ended up taking like theater appreciation acting for non-majors things of that nature and i'm not gonna bore with the the full life story in there but uh what ended up happening was I ended up uh, shifting my degree over to a uh, theater performance, essentially an acting degree. So I, uh, but I, I specifically would only like the acting degree was something you had to audition for. So I told myself, okay, I'm going to audition. Uh, and if I don't get in within a couple tries, then I guess this isn't for me, but yeah. I auditioned, I got in. Uh, and so from there, I just officially was just like, okay, I am an actor now. And then what caused and spurred the early kind of want slash attraction toward voiceover is, you know, I'm five, six, I'm short, fat back then stocky. Uh, and you know, this is a very, very superficial field uh, at the end of the day, um, particularly looking at like the camera side of things a little less so with theater, but still there is an element of your appearance matters. So I knew early on I wanted to do voiceover and uh, just sort of started working uh, toward that as a goal. And uh, yeah, once I graduated, I ended up. Uh, I've lived in Atlanta, Georgia for a little bit. Uh, I had like a camera agent over there, uh, tried to do a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, and from a couple of connections I had, it ended up landing me uh, over at, uh, at the time, Funimation. So I ended up moving to Texas in further pursuit of this voiceover career. Uh, and well, I mean, from there, it just kind of continued to spiral, you know, took workshops, uh, ended up landing, uh, the job that I used to have over, um, at Okatron 5000 and eventually hit the point now where, you know, just kind of doing this full time. Um, but yeah, it, it, it all, this wasn't 
the original plan you know it, when i when i first made the switch back in college there was that 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 you know that that cliched sort of uh thing that happens where like you know parents are are like what are you doing with your life yeah best friends parents you know a couple of friends on the outside uh but uh you know this was definitely like one of those things in hindsight that i can say was a a great choice <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know it doesn't always uh it definitely doesn't start out that way but uh you know sometimes it, you just stay with it and then it gets to that point and I'm like, look at me, mom and dad. I, I, I can do it. They're like, are you sure? Like, I don't know. Right. And I'm like, right. no, it's... look at me. And they're like, oh, okay. I like, uh, I'll do a commercial or whatever, and then I'll show them the check. And they're like, oh, yeah, you can do this. <laughs> <I'm> like, yay! <laughs> Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> I'm your Southern California happy Honda dealer. Um, <laughs> uh, no, that is. That's crazy. Um. So wait. So you. So you were in Atlanta for a bit. Where were you initially from? Uh, I am initially from Miami, Florida. I am a three hundred five boy. Uh, oh, okay. Right on. Which is which is you know very uh, similar to to Alejandro. He's also from. Yeah. From Miami. That is so random. So, Turns out you guys like, were your friends and you didn't even know. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think the the Alejandro Z lore is one of the like smallest world kind of like coincidences uh that people end up learning where it's like you know my uh my girlfriend happens to be his cousin so wait what <laughs> yeah wait so wait, wait like... the voice actor wait wait so just so everybody knows alejandro that's alejandro Saab, the the voice actor of of sino so wait it yeah. is how see so, so you're like related in a weird way technically yeah like, I, mean, I mean like if, if if we end up married yeah like we will legally be cousins i believe <laughs> um, that's insane <laughs> what um, but yeah no uh it's, it's it's completely unrelated uh at least you know the i i, I hadn't met alejandro f for years like it was it was it wasn't until like i think I got into college because uh, yeah. that's when my girlfriend and I started uh, going out. And so, but yeah, like uh, we'd gone from like the same middle school, high school, university, uh, started going out in university. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, look at this small world where your cousin happens to also be in the uh, same field. And now look at us what? having <laughs> meme banter on Twitter. So what would that uh, be? Like cousin-in-law? Or... <laughs> that... I mean, I'd, I'd go. I'd go with cousin in law. That's cousin in law. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, wow, what um, a small world. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, also, I've seen a few people mention this. Uh, yeah, my my Discord name is on purpose. I I, I was just being what I thought was funny. Uh, that's that's really you it. are. I'll, I'll hate them. <laughs> yeah, you I know. Are. <laughs> um but yeah that's that's uh some more deep lore for for everyone that's awesome though no, that's so cool um oh wow so miami and then so so you went to so you went to georgia first before finally like settling in texas right gotcha yeah, yeah uh I, like a lot of my friends when we were starting to graduate uh atlanta was uh essentially like a a new camera hub uh essentially so oh, you yeah. wouldn't so and, and because obviously it's much more affordable and cheaper to go to atlanta than it is to la and 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 try to live out that dream uh a lot oh, of us yeah. would a lot of us would uh would apply to agencies out in atlanta uh hoping to try and get representation there and pursue that scene so and also they have a pretty decent uh theater community as well so it was just like oh this makes the most sense um so totally. that's how i ended up there i i ended up grabbing a bite with an agent uh or rather that makes it sound like i had lunch with an agent <laughs> i sent out uh <laughs> applications an agent bit and that's what resulted in me oh, going oh i see what you're saying <laughs> yeah 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 no i i, I literally <laughs> thought that it was the other way too i was like oh yes yeah, so you went out to lunch with like an agent and then you know stuff kind of <laughs> it's the whole getting like getting an agent thing is so weird too and even i'm kind of uh i don't know i might kind of be dipping my toes into some different fields of of acting we'll see about we'll see about that but but getting a 
getting an agent is just so it's such a weird experience. Everybody has a different experience and people like get walked in. Sometimes you submit and then they take interest in you. Um, so, so what was this story? How did, so, so you got, you had gotten, you did end up securing an agent out that way or what, what was kind yeah. of the story behind that? Uh, really uninteresting. Uh, like the, that my, my camera career, uh, very, very, very short lived saga, uh, didn't essentially it didn't occur. Um, that is a shame but... because my chat is, <laughs> my chat is in here calling you very handsome. That's they, they are saying you are, I appreciate you're, I appreciate you're, you. you're a handsome fellow and I agree. So I don't know. It might be time to start that dream back up. Uh, agents watching the stream get on that right now. One day, one day, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll try and work it toward the mocap and likeness there. Um, there you go. But yeah, I, it was just, uh, you know, I, I figured who the reputable uh, folks were, went ahead and applied, and eventually uh, one of them took interest, and I did a, uh, a live audition for them. Uh, so I went into their office. Uh, they put me in front of a camera. We did a few lines together. They asked me a few questions. Yeah. And by the end of that, they were like, all right, uh, you want to do this? And I was like, well, uh, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, on second thought, no, I don't want this represent. It's like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> You're like, no, I, I came all this way and I did this audition. They're like, yeah, do you, would you like to be a part of our, our exclusive club? And you're like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> could you, could you imagine that? I wonder if, I wonder if they ever get people that that do that like that would be awesome could you could you imagine like you get i bet that would I, I wonder if that would make an agent like imagine this you get like one of those one of like the top agents in in like uh in a huge market you get a, one of the top agents interested in you you go in you do an audition you blow them away or something and then uh, and then, you know, they kind of like, yeah, like, so what do you, you know, here's what we can offer you. You interested? And you're like, ah, yeah, I don't know. I, may, I might think about it. And then you just walk out. And they're like, they probably think, like, how many people have done that to them? You know what I mean? Like, how I mean, many? It sounds like, it sounds like uh, a, a, an early 2000s Disney Channel original movie <laughs> it plot. Does. Where it's just like, you know, you got the fun-loving, passionate actor, goes into the corporate scene, sees that it's just filled <laughs> with, with nothing but suits who are looking for the next big thing and money. And then this actor is just like, you know what? I'm doing it for the passion. And then they walk out. <laughs> with, the, with like this server, I'm doing it for the passion, brother. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, honestly, this kind of sounds like Brink the more I talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, totally. That's crazy. Um, wow. So I guess so. Uh, what? What ultimately uh, kind of kind of set you uh, set your sights on Texas? Was it was that when you knew you're like okay, voiceover? They do a lot of recording over in Texas. Like this is a this is a good place. Or was that was that more of like an on camera uh, decision? Uh, no, that was that was uh, strictly related to the voiceover pursuits. Um, so early on in my career, I wasn't. Uh, very knowledgeable in this, especially, you know, the contacts that I all that, that that I had were all theater related. So nobody could help me out in the voiceover field. Um, I had like a, a very, very bizarre, singular connection to someone at Funimation who managed to like kind of just put my name through the door. And it got me an audition, but ultimately what really landed me through was taking a workshop, getting in front of other directors, getting in front of people, uh, engineers that saw me perform, saw some potential, and then decided to nurture it. But uh, what got me to Texas was me uh, getting an email uh, being like, hey, are you available for a session? And me replying, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then being like, oh, well, I'm in. So this is consistent work for the rest of my life, he thought naively. Um, so I ended up going there, learning more about, you know, kind of like the different fields, uh, the mediums of voiceover, uh, and just kind of like decided to learn everything while I was here awaiting further work from Funimation at the time. Uh, 
because you know there there really isn't much down in miami uh as much as i love the city uh it's definitely one of those things where you got to move up and move out uh and and go where the work is essentially and i mean at that time texas was all i knew uh with regard to potential voiceover work um, yeah i mean like la obviously everyone knows la but again la la market is also la expensive so oh, we're yeah. not doing that as a struggling actor no it's crazy <laughs> some of the you know some of the friends that i have and you know where they've just like how they've started out i mean i've been so lucky just to kind of have like been born here um so right. i never had to worry about that but i find like my friends tell me oh yeah like i moved out here you know i only had like this amount of money in my bank account i was you know we were in like a two bedroom, two bathroom place and there's like five people living in there, you know, and I'm like just trying to pay the rent. I'm like, geez, this is nuts. Like, like that is a, that is truly like the struggling actor, like just trying to get your foot in the door and get going so you can make just like, even just like a decent salary. Oh yeah. No. Uh, when I first moved out, here i was living out of my car for like a week while i was still trying to find an apartment because i had no connections here i had nothing so <laughs> i was oh, just man. sitting there like my only plan uh that i had was okay i need to find the college town because college towns have apartments where utilities are built in uh and also it's a lot easier to kind of like blend in if i needed to like get in someplace or or, or um you know just if i needed to go onto the campus and i don't know just uh go to the bathroom or whatever like it wouldn't look weird just another you know early 20s dude walking around a campus with a bunch of other early 20s people um so that was my only plan of attack i just was like all right i'm going there and <laughs> because again i got the email i rejected the work and i didn't know how things worked back then yeah so i thought it was just like oh i said no now but they're gonna want me next week or because it was like a thursday or something like that uh boy was i wrong uh if i had known what i knew <laughs> now it's like i could have just gone back to miami <laughs> saved up some money and then gone and got an actual apartment instead of just like oh yeah here's what little money i have time to you know try and like scrounge whatever i can to get like an apartment while i live out of my car <laughs> yeah um, but yeah and even wow. even after even after breaking in and getting a little more uh established and whatnot um i i mean the struggling acting a uh, struggling actor life is is something that you know i mean it's a cliche for a reason right a lot of us end up experiencing it um and like even my own living situation just a few years ago prior to what it is now uh i was sharing a a three bedroom apartment at one time with as many as uh three other actors oh uh, wow so so it's like each bedroom was occupied and yeah. then in the attempt for me to save money i decided to take the like corner of the living room uh and what yeah here actually i can uh, i'm pretty sure i have a picture somewhere over here i can send you um <laughs> but yeah i i ended up just having like a futon a a desk uh, and my desk was like a folding table from walmart it wasn't like a desk desk uh and then i ended up putting up like bed sheets in order to kind of create walls uh here i dm'd you a picture if you want to show it you can is, show is it, that okay if i show this yeah that's, ab yeah, that's okay absolutely cool fine. here i'm gonna hold on guys i'm gonna show this picture that <laughs> dude this is nuts so this was like the uh this is the makeshift booth right here or no that was my room oh wait yeah i'm oh. talking about struggling actor oh this was it it looks like a where... booth though because it's yeah. like uh, wait that's my room <laughs> no okay hold on i gotta i have to show you guys this hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> okay one sec and I want to say thank you guys for all the super, super chats. Funny enough, um, Gothilic brought up a very, very uh, interesting thing. Is your birthday on the same day as All Hatham's birthday? You know, it is. It is a... That is crazy. Uh, it is a hashtag blessed uh, coincidence <laughs> that uh, I couldn't be... I couldn't be more pleasantly surprised. To have. It was meant to be. Wow. Dude, that is nuts. 
Yeah, I I remember um because originally it was just like I don't remember if it was a leaked information at first or if it was official. I think no, it had to be leaked because I couldn't interact with it. Um, but I did like see it and I was just like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Here, I'm, um, I have to show the I'm, I have to show the stream really quick. Uh, this is so. I am like I'm a bad guys. I'm a bad streamer. I I don't know how to like put pictures up, but I I've just figured it out. Um, it's been a long time since I've done like crazy stuff on my stream. I got to get my settings going, but that is a crazy coincidence. All right, everybody. So this is so this right here is what you were. Uh, I just put it up on the stream. This is what you. Th this is this was what you were living in. This. Uh... Yeah. So my other the other actors I was living with, uh, they each had one of the bedrooms, and like I said, to to save money, I was like, I'll take the living room and pay the least amount of rent. Um, I went ahead and uh, I put another picture for you. Uh, I went ahead and cropped out like a couple of like personal pictures. Um, oh, gotcha. that was like how the in that's how the inside of my room looked. So. Uh, for everyone watching uh, to imagine what was going on here is I would when you know when going to sleep just lay down and sleep on that futon that's why there is a blanket and uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll you'll see the picture in a moment uh, there's a blanket and pillow there so just like lay down and sleep and then uh, when I wake up I just sit up and I'm right at my computer <laughs> like that's it that was the room uh, there was no uh, like I mean obviously I could walk to the kitchen which was like you know you can see from there that with the water bottle it's like right right behind me uh and to the left was the rest of the living room so anyone who wanted would be able to uh uh watch tv or whatever but yeah wow. i also had no walls like it was these makeshift walls so if like if somebody did want to watch tv or play a video game or cook or whatever it's like i was surrounded by all of that um but yeah that's my like little <laughs> struggling actor story of like yeah sometimes you just you do what you can you you live uh and do <laughs> what little uh you're forced to do um and you yeah find that's, a way wow <laughs> yeah and and that uh that's uh that middle monitor slash tv like i found that by a dumpster <laughs> it's not even like i didn't purchase that or anything like you know you make do dude that is crazy <laughs> Oh my goodness. You tr wow, when you say like struggling actor, like you have you have you are the real deal. Like you have, like you've one, lived one, through it. Wow. I, I look fondly, I do look fondly, uh I mean at the time it wasn't very happy. Uh but looking back, it is really uh you know kind of nostalgic thinking back to like me and one of my best friends going to like walmart at like two in the morning to find like clearance food uh because it was just like the only thing we could purchase at that time it was like hey barely making it by on rent food's expensive yeah. uh so like here we go um wow but <laughs> but yeah um but even with all of that you know uh it's it's you know I'm, I'm i'm living the life right now uh you do what you need to do uh heck yeah and and you know hopefully things end up better um at the end of the day you know as, as small and cramped as this may have been uh you know i was fortunate enough to still have a roof over my head to be able to afford rent uh to be able to enjoy these you know what a lot of people would still consider luxuries. So, oh, yeah. Uh, definitely still a, a hashtag uh, blessed uh, well, <laughs> sort of dude, feel to it. I will say, like, you you have my full respect. Like, that, that is just such... That, it's, so, it's so cool, like, just to be able to look back, though, on, you know, where, where you kind of came from and how you got started doing all of this. I mean, really... I and I think a lot of people still don't completely understand that is there's always something even even pursuing this job is um or pursuing you know some kind of, any kind of work really in entertainment is there's going to be sacrifices that you're going to have to make and sometimes it's just like it's not all sunshine and rainbows it's not like cuz I get messages um almost every day actually and and I don't really check my messages, but I, you know, like every now and then I'll check them and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, like I got so many messages. Like I got a message yesterday and the day before and I'm like scrolling through them and people are like, yeah, so like, you know, where can I, 
you know, where can I try out or, or like, yeah, I, I want to do this or like, can I do that? And I think, I think what's hard about, I, I think what's hard about this industry is that people don't understand that you have to earn that right to like the, you, you, it is a privilege to be able to audition for things and to be able to kind of have your foot in the door and have that opportunity to even get a chance to get that role. Um, right. And so it's not just kind of like, oh yeah, like I think I like people have told me I have a good voice. Like maybe I can be a voice actor too. Like it's it's not even like that. You know, you gotta you gotta work for it. You have to you gotta go in, you gotta make the connections, you gotta take the classes, workshops, be online, be you know, be able to communicate with people and just I don't know, it's a whole it's a whole thing. Yeah. And you know exactly like you said. There is the 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 element of of sacrifice. You know, uh, there are definitely some folks who have it have had easier journeys than others. You know, to each person. Oh yeah, uh, you know, like me like, being you know, born here in L in like L A. You know, I've had my mom always supported me with acting. Like I can't. You know, I could go on a sob story about how hard it was, but like compared to some other people's, like it, it wasn't it wasn't nearly as difficult. At least at least as like a personal struggle, you know, like there's, there's a, when you, when you have to think about like, oh yeah, like I have to make sure, you know, just try, I'm trying to save up money. Like I, I'm in a whole new state. My family doesn't even live here. Like that is a whole, that is a whole struggle in itself. Right. And, but the thing that people need to, you know, acknowledge is regardless of how easy a person's journey or how easy your a person's journey may seem to them there is still so much behind the scenes that they don't know uh you know the you know like like in this case of like just you know being fortunate enough to have been born and lived here we don't know about your own trials and tribulations we don't know about you know what sort of little struggles that you may have like you know that's just like one example of a convenience that's still not acknowledging anything else that you may have gone through, you know, it's oh, like, right. Yeah. Like, like, you know, people, people love to, to point at others and just be like, Oh, this person's so young. They didn't have to struggle, you know? And it's just like, you know, well, that person has been acting for about 10, 15 years has been doing this since they were a child, uh, has had to experience the, the negative feelings of this industry as part of their formative years. Uh, you know, it's like even even like like there is so much more nuance than people uh, like to to acknowledge um, as a generality. That is, of course. Oh, you know? yeah. I, that's so funny. I mean, it sounds like it's like me, you know, because I because I <laughs> I started so I started so young, but I have like a whole backstory that I still haven't really gotten to share with everybody. So hopefully so one of these days I want to I think I want to make like a, a YouTube video about it that just kind of like encompasses what really made me want to do this and why I, I don't know my dramatic, tragic anime backstory. <laughs> sure sure but yeah man you know the, the 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 big thing is you know for 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 any aspiring actor out there watching or an aspiring creative uh as as you look begrudgingly at the career of another and the successes that they have uh just you know realize you don't have the full story um yeah and 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 you've got to give a little bit of a a benefit of the doubt you know sure you know, some people's successes look like they happened overnight, but there really is a lot more to a person's life than just what you see. Um, right. And yeah, <laughs> got so, really deep there. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you deal with so much bad stuff in your life that you're like, man, can it get any worse? And then it does. And then all of a sudden it does a 180 and you're like, wow, everything is awesome. Like, I guess I just had to suffer for a while uh, for it to be great. Was the suffering worth it? Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> no, that's really how it is sometimes. Um, but, but yeah. Um, <laughs> uh Man, so I I guess I I kind of want to like loop this back around just like in terms of uh, you know, anime and video games. Was there anything that you like really liked either either working on or or stuff that you liked kind of when you were getting into acting, like voiceover? Was there like an anime that you're like, "Oh, wow, this is like a pretty cool show." Like this is like I kind of wish I could be a part of a show like this or same with a video game. 
Um, you know, kind of like I, I because of the way I got into this field, there was never, you know, uh, growing up a moment of like, oh, man, I'd love to be part of this or, or the, you know, it's just like I I consume oh, yeah. media. I'd watch, you know, I, I grew up on on Naruto and, and Dragon Ball Z. That was me. And, you know, yeah. we had like, you know, the, the good stuff, um, the classics to us uh, and uh you know i always i was like yeah man that's that's awesome i love this show then you know that was the end of that but the more i started trying to delve into the field uh the more i started to take uh like closer notice at the media i was consuming um one of the things that i i think about a lot actually um i think one of the years during uh when i was in college uh still kind of like figuring all this out it was the year that uh uh last of a uh, not last of a sorry um bioshock infinite uh oh that come out that, Actually, that, game that was blew all the my same mind. year i think yeah I, I think that was all the same year um but yeah like like essentially just the uh, the 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 slew of 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 troy baker successes that came out one after the other and like really taking a look at just yeah uh nuanced voiceover acting in general and being like oh man like there really is like so much more depth than than I initially realized. It's not just a matter of, oh, can I do this zany voice? Or, <laughs> like it's it's not that. It's, <laughs> it's it's like you know being able to legitimately connect uh, to to emote to feel a feeling, and so like I don't necessarily pinpoint any one piece of media for like jump starting me into it, but when I started you know, further uh, delving into this career, I started getting more and more and more of an appreciation uh, toward everything that was around me. Um, and, you know, as, as I got into the career, I've definitely had those moments of like, oh man, I recorded on, I recorded on Pokemon or uh, I recorded on, on Dragon Ball Super or, or, you know, it's like these things where I can like look back to and be like, ah, oh, yeah, those were the things I grew up on. This is so cool. Um, but they were never like like aspirations or goals in the sense of I want a voice on Dragon Ball. I want a voice on this. It was more like my goals are more I want to work on really cool stuff on really fun things. And that's still the way I am now. Like when people ask me like my favorite or not my favorite, but my um my dream roles or, yeah. or, or dream projects, I don't necessarily have one because at the end of the day, like most of my peers, I want to work on the big things, the cool things. It's more just, I, I think I like temper my my own expectations just a little by by not getting too, too attached with the idea of a project so that when I don't work on the project, I, you know, the heartbreak is just a little less. <laughs> Maybe it's a defense mechanism. I don't know. I, I feel you. I completely <laughs> understand. It's hard but, to know, not, like, yeah get get too into it and you're like i need this please i'm so attached to this character i've loved i've loved dragon ball forever too and, and that's how that's how i felt even auditioning for that uh for the for the dragon ball uh superhero movie because i'm like oh my god like i have a chance you know like to i have a chance to get this like this is crazy like please right. please let it happen like who do i need to pray to like who come on like just just anybody <laughs> Look who, it up who, every... who, who do I need to manifest to right now? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because I because it's it's hard not to, especially when you have like I had a very personal connection to to Dragon Ball and Naruto. I mean, Naruto is still a bucket list thing for me, or technically, I guess it would be Boruto. Just being a part of it in any capacity would be. I think that I think I think this whole thing for me would come full circle because Naruto was such a huge part of me wanting to uh, pursue voice acting. <laughs> Right. Yeah. For me, uh, it's like, you know, I want to be part of, uh, you know, like in this case, like you said, Boruto, I want to be a part of like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, for instance, you know, it's like these things where it's like, I feel a greater sense of attachment and connection to the further and further I get in this field and the closer they feel they are to to being obtainable. But I, I never go so far as to be like, you know, like, that is the thing for me. Um, yeah. Because, you know, like, again, it's just like, you know, uh, and, and mad, mad, mad respect to my my peers who do have those 
uh, very, very specific goals um, and yearn to achieve them. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I it's, it's just it's not my my style. <laughs> I'm more general. Yeah. No, I feel you. I mean, it's it's good. You know, I just try to keep a positive outlook on on everything on the industry as you know as you kind of like move forward and audition for things and try not to get too attached to to anything there's so many things in the future that i would love to be a part of but at the same time you know i i do acknowledge that i have been very blessed to have been a part of what i have got so far so if those things do not happen i you know i could not be angry i could not I could not be like, oh, how dare they? Like, right? You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was there's the always the, there's always a little bit of like, ah, yeah. You're like, if but only then, that was me. Like, uh, then. But, but then, <laughs> but then, but then, yeah, exactly like you said. You you look at your resume and you're just like, ah, I can't complain. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. No. Totally. Oh man. Um. Wow, I mean, it it sounds like you've really just been on you've been on the journey, you've been on the grind, doing all of this stuff and voiceover, moving to moving to uh, Texas and kind of getting settled there, um, making connections with people and just continuing to continuing to work and kick ass. I mean, obviously, uh, <laughs> trying, trying, dude. I'm and- I, I'm so happy. Ju- I'm just so happy that they got you on on Genshin like yeah no very it's, well it's, deserved it's, i have heard like i've heard a lot of like <laughs> al hatham's lines you sound absolutely fantastic you're way too kind thank you yeah you know uh been on the grind still on the grind you know still uh, on the grind like you know i've i've the sites have been on la i've i've made moves toward la you know i have my my agent i've i've flown out for projects here and there so uh you know uh can't stop won't stop uh you'll You'll have to, you know, pry pry this industry out of my 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 cold <laughs> dead hands uh, before I give up on on further further furthering my goals. <laughs> Heck yeah, no, I mean especially because you you know you've come so far. Like even I mean I feel the same way. You know sometimes sometimes I think I think what speaks more for me is just the burnout and not actually how I feel about certain things or the industry as a whole. But there are times when sometimes I you know I think to myself like. You know, am am I like, should I keep doing this? Like, what am I doing right now? And it's and I feel like that's just the burnout, because as soon as I have time to kind of like gather my thoughts, I'm like, holy crap, like, you know, I'm, I'm still like that 14 year old kid that really wanted to be a voice actor on the inside. It's just hard to it's hard to find that, I think, sometimes again, with the stress of like being an adult. <laughs> like right <laughs> that's what that's what I've been going through. I don't know. I've been going through that whole I've been going through the phase in your life where um the phase in your life where you just like you're you just kind of have to grow up and start doing everything on like by yourself and you don't really have your parents there to to hold your hand as i mean not as much anymore and you kind of want to do things by yourself too because you need to learn and um i'm just kind of like in i'm in that weird phase right now trying to just kind of find myself like not like i need to go on some cosmic journey or anything but like i don't know it's just i think it's just a it's just a part of part of getting older and growing up and right yeah yeah absolutely absolutely you gotta you gotta you know go through the soul searching you gotta go through the the sort of like socratic phase also where you get really like philosophical sometimes nihilistic but hopefully you come out through the end yeah (laughs) exactly (laughs) Oh man. Um if you oh and I didn't even say this yet guys by the way if you haven't already Naziz's social medias are down below in the description right there. If you have not go give him a follow right now. Right do it right now. <laughs> and uh and if you haven't gotten Al Haytham yet, um giving him a follow is guaranteed to increase your chances of getting Al Haytham. Uh, by a million percent uh yes they have the company has told me this everybody said this it is a hundred percent fact and i am not making this up at all go give him a follow it will get you all hate them uh a hundred percent yes please don't somebody's gonna 
swear to God, somebody's going to contact me tomorrow and say, like, why did you tell everybody that? I'll be like, well, I, it was a joke. It was sarcasm. Should, should have, we should have we should have written down like a piece of like legal copy for uh, for us to like really, really speed read. Uh, <laughs> where it's just like, you know, limited time offer. Blah, 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 blah. It's like that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Give them a follow right now and you too can get on Nathan. <laughs> it may or may not increase your chances by 1000 uh, <laughs> percent. Hopefully, <laughs> nothing we say here are legal is legally binding. <laughs> like, like, like little little uh, legal covering. <laughs> this is just for fun and not actually factual. Like, yeah, <laughs> please. Uh, oh man, that's awesome. Um, oh yeah, I'm like I still need to pull for this guy. Uh, let's go. All right, let's do this, please. I'm. I I swear, one of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna do a ten pull. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the five star. Like one of these days, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Twenty? Is twenty? Okay. So what is in in tens? What what is what is the lucky number here, Nizzy? What do you what are you thinking? We we're twenty in. So what do you think? Are we thirty, forty, fifty, sixty? Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm feeling like a lucky dude. I'm gonna just say thirty. All right, 30, flip the switch, everybody. I don't know where that came from. I, I think I started that. Did I start that, guys? Was I the one saying, like, flip the switch? And then I feel like I feel like I see clips of sometimes people saying it or, like, I don't know. I saw, like, a couple streamers say it. I'm like, did, did they steal that from me? Did I say flip the switch? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> flip the switch! Oh, no, please. Oh. We are so close. The amount of mu like I want to know. <laughs> I want to know this. I don't know if this if it's actually something that you can find in the game, but I want to know how much money I've spent on this game. Like I, I genuinely. I mean, you I don't. don't I don't yeah. I, know. I don't want to know. But I'm like so <laughs> curious. I'm like, what has it been? Forty. Please don't do this. Don't do this to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, oh no. All right. I'm starting to feel the pressure now. <laughs> Come on. 50? Okay. All right. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Everything's great. Everything's great. <laughs> it's a good day. It's all right. 60. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the what the heck? Why am I getting so many? Okay. Um all right, 70. Please. We on 70 now? Okay. Wow. Well <laughs> nice. Um okay, did somebody say 80? 90? Oh, wait, what? Wait a sec. No space left in inventory? Guys, I've <laughs> never gotten this. What happened? Wait, with weapons? Gotta delete weapons? Are you serious? Dude. All the... Do I really have... Oh, you're right. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so embarrassing. No, please don't look at I don't want people to look at me. Please don't look at me. <laughs> oh, I am looking. so I am so embarrassed. Um, time to upgrade your weapons. Look. Okay. Every, don't hate me. I know I'm supposed to be like the like one of the spokespeople for the game or whatever, but uh you know, I I haven't really um you know, when it comes to weapons, you know, I just never really cared. Like I sometimes I would upgrade the weapon, but you know, I'm just not really um I'm not really great at upgrading <laughs> weapons, so uh, it's been a while. You know, I haven't. I'm still trying to make my way through Subaru. Uh, uh, just, you know, please just uh, don't. You don't need to judge me. Just, um, just black screen it. Just black screen. You know, put on some elevator uh, music. Black screen. Uh, Can technical we? Technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we're breaking up. The stream is not. It's at. It's cutting out. Um, Okay, how do I? Uh, so here are all my weapons. Um, should I? Can I up? Can I even upgrade this? I don't even know if I ascend the weapon. Oh no! Wait, I can't refine the weapon. That's what it is. No, wait, that's not refining. How do I upgrade this thing? Click on a level one. 
Okay, level one. We go to details. Destroy them. No, wait. I don't want to destroy them. I want to. I want to use them to enhance other weapons. I haven't done this in so long, actually. I've been the worst with weapons. Look at we got Kaya down here with the doll blade. <laughs> this is so random. Um, enhance any weapon. Okay, what should I do? Oh, should I enhance the dull blade? Wait, where's the dull blade that I enhanced with Koi? Koi, I think Koi got me to enhance like a dull blade. I don't know if it's in here or not. Maybe I deleted it. The chat is moving so fast, like I cannot even see. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, I'm I judging. Got faster the moment you said. That. Please, you destroyed it. No, you have to turn the fives into the level ones and the. <laughs> Okay. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this spear. And no, wait, I don't wanna. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we can't ascend this. I can't. Yeah, because you can't ascend these. Uh, what's it called? Oh, well, hold on. Here. This is fine. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm doing it. Look Leave me alone. That. We're figure we <laughs> we're figuring it out. <laughs> okay. I think that's that's fine, right? Refine. I don't have any identical for the for some of these legendary weapons. Um we are good. Okay. I think we're fine now, right? We're fine enough. Surely. I'll I'll Surely. figure I'll figure this out later, guys. Look, I I am definitely overdue for like a for a stream where I just play the game and I just wanted to play it for like as long as I possibly could. I, I, I truly wanted to do like a 10 hour stream, right? Because I thought that would be like fun um, if I don't die. <laughs> uh, but I thought it would be super, super fun to uh, to do like a stream where I just like play through the game and kind of get as much stuff that I want done too. And maybe even like try to build a few characters at that at the same time. So what is this? Was this 90? Uh, I don't remember if it was 80 or 90, but it was up there. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I hope this is it. Okay. Please. Oh, thank first, God. Yes. First try every time. <laughs> oh my goodness. This never happens to me. Ah, oh, thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank, uh, le thank the chat for being here. I'd like to thank, uh, Nazee. For for also being here for we look we did we hit I don't know what what was it full pity that was full pity we hit full pity but you know what it's okay because uh because we won the fifty fifty so uh, yes that is exactly what happened we are we're good we're good that was <laughs> we did it we did do it's it done. whoa what the heck oh that's a pretty that was a solid pole all right i'll take it um oh my goodness uh nazia dude thank you so much and guys again if you haven't already go give nazia follow down below i believe i got i know i have twitter for sure down there and then i put something else i think it's twitter and instagram for you nazia is there any other like uh social media platforms you uh nope those you... are the only two uh awesome I... <laughs> I keep a simple life. I just hear the two and we good. Yeah, pretty much like me as well. Like just Twitter, Instagram, and uh, even though I'm really bad at posting on Instagram because every time I take a picture of myself, I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I just see, can't that, get a good I, one. Like <laughs> sometimes it's just the way I look too. I'm like, why do my like, it's like I'm tilting my head or something. I'm like, my eyes look off center or something. I'm like, I'm, I swear I'm looking right at the camera. Like, what am I doing? Do I need to like, I don't know. <laughs> I I need to uh 
I need to continue taking uh, pictures of my animals because so I yes oh you have Twitter, to Twitter is what I do for shit posting uh, I just you know eh, that's just the fan interaction yes uh, social Dude, media for me do but, it but Insta that's that's where you'll find my zoo essentially uh, for anyone who's curious uh, I got three dogs four axolotls uh, wait you have axolotls gecko. yeah I got axolotls. Yes, I do. Which fun fact? They're apparently illegal in Cali. Uh, what? So, are they really? Yeah, they are. Uh, so that poses a poses some difficulty. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, we have like a, a whole little zoo that's just constantly is expanding. So if you like if you like animal pics, uh, you'll find a you'll find a decent amount in there. Okay, axolotl. What's yeah. it like? What's it like taking care of those bad boys? Uh, when they're babies, it is a pain, uh, cause it's like you feed them like once, twice a day. And well, if you like, if you feed them like live things, like little tiny worm things, like, that's a lot easier. But my girlfriend and I didn't want to like, you know, chop worms up and like make them suffer and all this other stuff, even if they are worms. So oh, we yeah. have like hand, so we like hand feed each of them little pellets uh so it was a pain but now pretty dope you just feed them like once every like three days or whatever you just pop some food in there and they're just uh swimming around like little goobers oh that's awesome yeah i you know i was always sorry, so interested in uh in like axolotls they're really cool. Uh, you know, I, I think the less you have, the easier it is to care for. Because like, I don't, I don't think we, I can kill anybody with Alpha right now. We have to get like, a really big tank and like a. He's gonna try a, to a, all this equipment to go with it. It's not just a matter of like you know, get a little tank and and throw them in there and call it a day. It's like they can be pretty finicky um, and hard to take care of. Uh, but yeah, if you just have like one, eh, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Just, you know, for, for anyone out there uh, who is looking to get any sort of animal, uh, make sure you do research, you know? Uh, sometimes things take a lot more care than you realize uh, they need. Uh, and if you want to have a happy pet, uh, some of them take uh, quite a bit of work. So, you know, yeah, do your research. True that. <laughs> very, very true. Um. Dude, thank you so much again for coming on the stream. I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, we will see lots more uh, shit posting from you on Twitter, where you guys all should follow Nazi. <laughs> um, and yeah, just like welcome to welcome to the Genshin Impact community. Maybe we'll get a chance to do like a convention or something together. I think would be really cool. And of course, if you are ever down to play any sort of games with the rest of the cast any like streams or random stuff we do you are more than welcome to uh to join in and you know just have fun with everybody i, I don't even know who who else you know actually besides uh besides a few of the a few of the voice actors how many people do you think from from genshin impact are you have you been uh, in contact I with mean, uh, i mean in general contact with uh i'd like to say like probably most considering you oh, know my, yeah. my 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 connection to to the studio life but right um yeah no i'd, I'd absolutely be down to you know kind of just chill with everyone have fun uh i don't stream uh but you know coming on and and just kind of having a good time uh definitely all about that definitely uh yeah just can be posted if you guys ever do anything awesome yeah we'll do and, man and if i may uh to everyone in the chat uh thank you so much for your support uh to anyone who also donated i know this is zach spiel but also <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say thank you to any and all uh support that has been given uh you all have made uh voicing this character uh much more of a treat than i initially anticipated that it would be um and to zach uh you know thanks for having me on for the sort of just open welcome uh and you know of the course, other thanks for doing well. this yeah like you know every, everyone has been nothing short of kind delightful receptive and i am uh nothing but grateful to everyone so thank you we are all one big family
<laughs> now we are part of the Genshin uh, universe, and something else I'm so excited for, and I don't I don't have any like inside knowledge. Just want to put that out there because um, I I have not been told the thing. But one thing that I am super excited for is uh, whenever that Genshin Impact anime comes around that was announced a little while back i think that'll be so much fun to work on so um i mean if my character has lines i'm sure you definitely will have lines in this year but uh I'd... i'll show up like seven seasons in 20th episode <laughs> who knows that would be that would be could you imagine what if what if genshin the anime is like the next one piece like it's just a what if and i know it's done by ufo table and it's it, that's like super unlikely but that would be because their budget, I'm sure, is just massive. They're like, yeah, you know what? Like, I don't know, like a few hundred episodes against an impact might be kind of cool. Uh, you know, fingers crossed. Knock on wood. I'd love to see <laughs> I, that. That would be the most beautiful. That would be the longest, most beautifully animated series uh, ever, because it's just I don't know if I've ever seen like a like a really awesome, you know, just gorgeous animated series that ran for like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of episodes don't get me wrong right. i'm a fan of like naruto one piece bleach and all those shows but uh but just like the animation quality of ufo table is truly on like it's just on another level it's it's gorgeous so um yeah curious to see it i i wish i knew more information i guess yeah, we'll see likewise <laughs> but yeah i want to say uh thank you everybody for coming on the stream um and Nazi, dude, I will let you go, but feel free to, you know, hit me up anytime uh, for anything. Uh, hopefully, we'll, our paths will cross even more nowadays. Look, you know, put us in more projects together. That's that's all I ask. There it is. <laughs> Come on, universe. I've, I've, I've manifested this, so now they just need to make it happen. Yeah, no, um, seriously. But awesome. Uh, once again, thank you so much. And I will catch you on the next. You take cool. care. All right. You too, man. <laughs> All right. Bye. bye. Awesome. All right. That was so cool, guys. Uh, I'm happy we I'm happy we got to have Nizzy on here. And um, and I'm so happy that he agreed to do this uh it was kind of it, it's kind of last minute you know my schedule is always so crazy but um a, a resolution i did make for myself this year was to try to um try to stream more so hopefully uh hopefully i can do that and i think that i want to do a stream tomorrow just playing through genshin i'm i know you guys can see that obviously i've not really grinded on a lot of characters so i'm hoping to really build some characters up and maybe even try out a whole new team and take like chat suggestions for what that team should be. I'm going to be kind of neat. Um, but uh, yeah, so now I'm, I'm just going to kind of go through the super chats. Thank you guys for always for your patience. It's, it's a little crazy trying to like read chats. while you know, when, when you have a guest on and you're trying to hear their story, um, I think it's a little too, it's like you can't focus you can only focus on one thing at a time. Um, I want to say, uh, Justin Jones, thank you so much. And welcome to the Airbuds. Welcome back for 12 months. A Ashley Bell, thank you for 11 months in the Airbuds. Uh, Vasteris, welcome back for 14 months. Uh, I am finally meeting you in April. Ooh, what convention is this? I, I look forward to meeting you there. After two years trying to find a convention, jeez. Uh, Brian Thompson said, uh, welcome to the Airbuds. Crammon, welcome to the Airbuds. Back for 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Black Strawberry, welcome to the Airbuds. Auxilium Plays, 23 months. Dude, you are a legend. 23 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Almost two years. You're so close. Uh, Paradox, thank you for the $2 super chat. Uh, I don't know what sticky stuff I cleaned up, but uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, I, I think. Um, <laughs> you mean like my background or the, what? Uh, Gothilic, gotcha. Uh, thank you. Welcome back for four months. Uh, Chris B. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. 
Uh, Seth McKenna, welcome back for eight months. Uh, Jago, welcome back for nine months. Thank you, thank you. Emmy, thank you for the $20 super chat. Good luck on the polls. Thank you. The polls went pretty good, I will say. We got we won that 50-50, so that's a W for me. Wandering Samurai, welcome back. 14 months. Uh, AJ Mist, uh, thank you for the good luck. C. Cly, uh, thank you for the super chat. Emma, welcome back for four months. Uh, and thank you for the compliments on Fire Emblem Engage. Yes, I loved returning as Byleth. It was super fun. Uh, Dandelions, welcome to the Air Buds. Welcome. Welcome. Doku, thank you for the 12 months. And uh, yes, uh, my birthday is actually in February this month. Um, yeah, it's on the 21st, funny enough. So it's coming up soon. I'm getting old. Uh, Rez Rezaniv, thank you for the super chat. Um, thank you for calling me awesome. You know, my mom also thinks I'm a pretty awesome. I hope. Uh, Lamea Lodi is uh, saying Al Haytham is probably one of the most thirsted after units in Genshin. I could agree with it. I yeah no, I could agree with that. Um, <laughs> that is an interesting question. I wish I would have seen this super chat. Has the has the community's thirst for character in the Z plays been a little overwhelming? I'm sure it has been. <laughs> I'm sure he's gotten a lot of uh, interesting messages. <laughs> uh, Shani, welcome back. I just woke up to my first earthquake ever. What? And then, Shani, thank you again for the other super chat. It was a 4.7. It wasn't dangerous. Still, though, 4.7s can kind of, like, shake you up. Look, I'm a California native. What can I say? I have I know earthquakes all too well. Um, Gothilic, thank you again for the super chat. Cherry Pup, thank you for your super chat. McKenna, thank you for the super chat. You just got David Martinez tattooed on your shoulder. Ooh, all right. Hope to see it. Yes, show me. Uh, Aurora Mercedes says, uh, you go get that gamer dendro dude. You go get that gamer dendro dude. That is a tongue twister. Lady Daniela says, uh... Hi, Zach. Wish me luck working on Valentine's and going to Nintendo World this month. I wish you could come and have fun there. Nintendo World. Is that in, um, is that the Nintendo World in, uh, is that in Florida? Is that in Orlando? Or is that the Nintendo World in LA? Because I do want to go to Nintendo World. Is that, that's what it is, right? Nintendo World? Isn't that the Super Mario World or no? Or no, Nintendo World. That's in New York, right? Nintendo World, the Nintendo World Store? I don't know what Nintendo. Or is that Japan? <laughs> oh, it is the one in LA. Okay, I got you. <laughs> awesome. No, I want to go. I really want to go. I'm sure the tickets are like impossible to get. I might be able to. Universal might. They might do something special for me, maybe, if I. If I'm a good boy, they might get me in there. But I don't know. I'm sure the tickets are really hard to really hard to come by. Sella, thank you for the super chat. Uh C Cly. Uh thank you for the super chat. Ryan Nevsky, welcome to the earbuds. Kalina, thank you so much for the super chat. And I'm so glad that you're enjoying the streams. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just like having having fun with them. And Gothilic, thank you for the other for another super chat. There's definitely so much more behind the scenes. Um, like, there's so much more than what people people realize in terms of like, I don't know. It's like you you're you're a real person, you know, uh, for sure. Yamaguchi's yawn. Thank you for the super. Amy Pond. Thank you for the super. Yeah, I have too many level one characters, but we're gonna change that tomorrow. Allison A says. Zach, that was the way to refine 
it's just the festering desire sword you tried was an event sword that's right i always forget about that i know that i i wish that um i wish that i had gotten more of those festering desires back then that was for that was like dragon spine all the way back in like one point whatever that was right um I wish that I had got, I remember, uh, kind of like missing some of that event and I wish that I had done more so I could get more of those swords. Um, uh, Emmy, thank you. Thank you for being so funny. I know I'm, I'm hilarious. Of, of course. Yeah, to totally. Um, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy, uh, unless that was too nizzy. <laughs> I didn't know if that was to Nazi. I'm glad you enjoy uh, enjoy our humor here. Naomi Brunson, thanks for the super. Aqua Saber, thank you for the super. Uh, Olivia Roth, welcome back for nine months. And thank you for the happy early birthday, Sky Cloud. Uh, so awesome meeting you at SAC Anime. Uh, and... Um, I appreciate your I appreciate your insight on the streams. Like I'm yeah. I agree. Some of the some of the non-voice stuff I sometimes I do kind of just like to, you know, like skip through it a little bit cuz I'm like I want to get to I want to get to the voice part. Uh Hannah, thank you for the 7 months in a row. Uh I am so thank you so much. I yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you at MegaCon and Riverwalk. I'm super excited, actually, for uh, both of those conventions. Uh, Nick M, welcome to the Airbuds. We welcome to the Airbuds. Magical creatures, uh, welcome back for 17 months. Uh, oh my gosh, 17 months. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are crazy. Thank you. Um, Enkin, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Kimmy. Thank you, thank you for the love on Fire Emblem Engage as well. And uh, Renton, thank you for the super chat. Uh, you guys are truly awesome. Uh, Brooke, what time tomorrow? Uh, I'm thinking like around probably 4, 4 p.m., maybe 4.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time. So that's probably when I'll do another stream if you guys are if you guys are hanging out. Um I don't know, I should probably announce this soon. I got to go to the dentist actually. <laughs> so uh tomorrow. <laughs> that's why I'm not entirely sure like what they're going to do. I got Invisalign like uh I got Invisalign, I don't know, a few couple few months ago and yeah, I have to go pick up my new trays and I think he's just going to look at my teeth and be like, "Is it working?" Okay, it's working. So, um, yeah, Invisalign's been a pain, though, to take care of and, you know, always pop the trays out before you eat and then brush your teeth afterwards. It's a, I don't know, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not actually like Invisalign. It's like the, it's like the generic version of Invisalign. I think Invisalign's like super expensive. So I got the one that was not, uh, gonna, you know. <laughs> kill my bank account um anyways uh thank you guys always for just hanging out for being awesome and especially for being awesome to the to the guests that we have here on on the streams i can't tell you how much i appreciate it uh yeah just this month is gonna be so crazy for me so i'm not entirely sure like how much i'm gonna stream but i'm gonna try to stream as much as i possibly can uh we have so many events coming up we have a in the demon slayer premiere we have happening in la um that's going to be a whole thing so like i'm super excited for that um and yeah uh i don't know hopefully i'll i'll see you guys again real soon and um yeah i mean i i'll see you guys soon tomorrow i don't know what i'm saying i'm, I'm getting too too mushy but um yeah, I will be back streaming again tomorrow, doing fun, cool stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for coming, and uh, I'll see you later. Oh.
don't know why today i just felt like i just feel like a i feel like a bad speaker you know what i mean today i'm i'm just like jumbling all my words together <laughs> like seriously thank you guys thank you so much for being here i'll see you soon anna thanks for the super chat I'll try to check out Super Saiyan. <laughs> 